Hello everybody, this is AK Wasp, and I'm bringing you a new tutorial. This tutorial will be on the Jack of Trades Aura. The Jack of Trades Aura costs 15,000 loyalty points and is very easy to use. The primary reason you want it is because it gives you experience daily in any skill and it's pretty close to free experience. Now I typed out a little Excel chart which you should see on screen, basically summarizing the experience that you can expect at a certain level when you use the reward book on a skill of that level and I will also have this table available in the description for easy reference uh, the governing equations right down here where your experience is equal to the square of your level minus twice your level uh, minus 100 I should say minus 100 uh, Actually, I should say plus, not equals, but anyways, I'll fix that and I'll throw that into the description on the uh, video. Anyways, all you need to do the daily activity is very easy. Uh, you need a any weapon with a control attack, any sort of magical attack, and any sort of range attack, and some way to get over to Virak. So I just use a Virak teleport. And so I'm just going to walk you through it right now. So we just teleport right over to Virak from anywhere in the game. Arrive at the fountains. Um, you know, you could arrive anywhere depending on where you set your teleport location to. But I arrive at the fountains because it's close. It's close to... Uh, okay, so for the Jacket Trades Aura, we need to gain experience in 10 skills within 3 hours to claim the reward book. All we do is we equip the Aura. We activate it, get a little animation on, you know it's activated when you have a glowing, um, whatever it is, I suppose it's an aura on your right wrist, but that's what it is. And then once we have a message saying that we've accumulated enough experience, we unequip the aura and we talk to Juan over here and he gives us a reward book. So thanks to the tool belt update, as long as you have, uh, I think it's a knife, an axe, and a tinder box. This goes real fast. So you just run north of the teleport spot, chop down the log. Normally it's faster than that. I guess that was a very stubborn log. Anyways, chop down two logs. So that gives you your first experience. The second skill experience comes from lighting a log, so giving you some fire making experience. And then you go ahead and you craft the log into anything. Longbow, why not? So that's three skills right there. You just got 30% of your way in, you know, just by going up that path. Now, the next thing we're going to do is get skill number four by pickpocketing any of these guards. That's four skills. And now we're going to get skills five, six, seven, and eight by attacking with a controlled weapon. We effectively get, will gain experience in attack, strength, defense, and health. One attack, and we are all the way up to our, uh, what's it called, to eight. Put on any sort of range weapon, and then we get our ninth experience. Oop, just hit a diamond bolt special, and then we pull out something like a polypore staff. And there we go. That's ten skills that we gain experience in, and, you know, it took no time. And that's all we need for the Jack of Trades Aura. I always like to pick up a bone and bury it, therefore giving me, you know, experience in 11 skills. Just a little safe cushion in case I forgot to do something, since honestly, occasionally I do forget to uh, craft an item. So anyways, put on any other ore, and it says that you managed to gain experience in 10 skills within 3 hours, an award awaits you. So we just run down to Juan, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Juan. Talk to him, hit space twice, and he gives you a lovely little book. And then you click it, it's a reward book, it gives you experience based on the table, as I already explained. And in this example, I'm going to gain experience in runecrafting because. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Level 98 runecrafting. Pretty, pretty good. Now, I got most of the way from level. Uh, 97 to 98 just by assisting my runecrafting and by these jacket trades auras. So honestly, jacket trades 
on its own probably did about a quarter of the experience that I needed between the two levels. And you know, that's quite a bit. You know, free nine point whatever K experience a day is quite a bit. So anyways, I highly recommend getting the Jack of Trades aura when you can. I don't recommend it as the first aura you purchase. Um, so I recommend, and I'm actually planning on making a combat aura guide about this. But I recommend you pick a combat aura as one of your first auras. So either Reverence, because it's the cheapest, possibly Penance, or Vampirism as your first aura, because that'll actually help you in a combat situation. Jack of Trades makes for an ideal second aura, and then you get additional ones after that. But anyways, I recommend Jack of Trades as your second aura, and it will just you know give you a lot of free experience, almost up to 10k a day, just for, uh, you know less than five minutes of effort however long that took and then you can just get right back onto your uh, whatever else you're planning to do on RuneScape that day hope you enjoyed this video thank you so thanks everybody again for watching my video hope you found some of it uh, enjoyable entertaining or at least uh, educational so please uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube account and I'd appreciate that and follow me on Facebook or Twitter and leave a comment, let me know if you like these guys or you don't like these guys, and any ideas if you'd like me to do something specific in the future. Thanks for watching.